Hey YouTube, I just got uh, some LED lights. Uh, they're 120 volts. This big one is a 9 watts, and this one here is 12 watts. I got a regular 40 watt incandescent light. Um, that you can compare the sizes between them. This has a large diameter and a little taller than the incandescent light and also comparing to the 12 watt one. This is very well made and there is only one concern about this one. I'll show it to you when I plug it in. This one is much lighter, has a bigger output area. So be careful when you're ordering these or this kind of lights and you have a tight fixture. Make sure it will fit. So what I did, I connected this power strip to the inverter. Oh, by the way, I went to uh, 24 volts again. And you'll see how it works. Anyways, uh, if you're buying this type, make sure you measure your fixture for proper fit and see it will accommodate this kind. This kind will fit almost anywhere because it's kind of smaller than the regular incandescent light. As I said I uh, connected the power strip to the inverter and hooked up the water meter and connected this light so we can read the wattage, amperage and also the light will put of it. Uh, let me take you inside and show I installed some of them in the living room and most of the house now runs off of these two lights. Here in the garage I got these two, these are 12 volts and they are cool white. These here are the warm white. So I'll take you inside and show you the same fixtures that I installed these two lights and how they work. So bear with me. Okay, we're in the living room and these are the 12 watt lights. I installed them here and this area. And installed the 9 watts over here. I had to remove the little reflector around it so they will accommodate these lights here. So I'm going to turn them on. and you see how they light up. These are the 9 watts. They have decent light and good output. And these are the 12, one, 12 watts. Much brighter and more intensity on the output. So let's go test them out. Okay, I'm gonna first try the 40 watt incandescent light bulb and check the readings on it. Okay, the light is on. I'm gonna turn the power strip on. 
that's the voltage reading of the power coming in the inverter you go to amps 0.32 amps you go to watts got 39.3 watts and this is the light that it puts out 40 watts now I'm gonna turn it off and try the 9 watt LED The light is in, turn the power strip on, here at 122 volts, 0 0.05 amps, go to watts, 2.4, 2.3 2 watts, 2.5 and this is the illumination of the light which is not bad it's pretty good you can see it lights up pretty good and has a nice diffu diffuser on it that spreads the lights around As I mentioned, most of the light in the house, I got 10 of these and 20 of these ones. These were about $5 a piece. The 12 water and the 9 water were like $3. So, but there's a difference in quality. So I'm going to try the 12 watt right. okay and pay attention when I turn the switch on there's like two minutes uh, two seconds uh, delay till the light comes on watch I hope you got that I'm gonna try it again I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on but you see the difference it has a lot of intensity it's a warm white comparing to these that are cool white they're kind of bluish and this one are yellowish orange is more natural than the, the other ones okay let's check the reading 120 122 volts coming in 0 0.07 watts I'm sorry amps and we take the wattage 4.85 watts it consumes a little more but has much higher output this is very light comparing to this 12 water but the difference is it's got much more intensity and it takes about two seconds to come on so that's the downside of it but they both use much less electricity than the incandescent lights and I don't know how long they're going to last, but for the price, I couldn't hesitate to buy them. Hope this gives you an idea of the LED lights. And we'll see. Thanks for watching.
拜。